What you know about time? I'm talking about timelines. I'm talking about 10 seconds to shine. I'm talking about the amount we spent on that baseline. What you know about descendancy, a line for time creating interdependencies, the tendency to connect through community, the BSAC and the EDI creating unity. Two committees, is that just it? Checking up required boxes so y'all can fit? There's no I in team, and our history has shown that no work gets done when we go through it alone. Playing defense in zones, sets don't get one on their own. It takes a family to make a gym feel like a home. Gardons la forme de nos anciennes. Apprenons leurs leçons, oublions leurs peines, inspirons la génération qui vient, car le respect et l'inclusion sont des choses qui s'apprennent. L'oiseau en cage se transforme en cheval, sortant sur la piste, visant la première place sur la liste. Leaders from yesterday, today and tomorrow, black culture transcribed through time and can't be borrowed. We create and recreate the world we all know, by turning sorrows into culture and rhythm into flow. Endless hours, running lines, study sessions, and overtimes. Off the court effort may feel unrecognized, but even Six God said, when all the lights go out, that's when you see the real guys. Sur le terrain comme sur la glace, prenons notre place. Peu importe les injustices que nous faisons face, un pied après l'autre, avançons avec classe. As time winds down, have you taken a moment to reflect? I know it's behind you but the shirt still says respect. I hope you know what time will change. Gigi's can come together and would never be the same. Passing down torches, igniting our flame, rewriting all the rules of our so-called life game. We've been apart for a long time. Multiple futures lay before us. Where are we going? How will we get there? How do we make things better? We can build, but if we dream together, we can rebuild. We can create, but if we work together, we can recreate. We can connect, but only if we can find a way to reconnect. As we lead the charge towards a more inclusive society, we need your help to recharge our spirits. As we make progress towards a sustainable future, we need your help to remake the status quo. While others write off the search for a better world, you can help us lead the research that will rewrite the way forward. What happens next is up to us. Let's work together to reimagine what's possible. Dear women, you should be defined as resilient, courageous, competitive, and confident. Thank you for earning your rightful spots and surprising those who told you that you couldn't hit that shot. For breaking molds that society has created without fear of being criticized or hated. To your winning streaks, world records, gold medals, and more, you put in that work and it reflects in more ways than just a score. You keep your head up high and continue to lead the way, becoming moms, sisters, friends, and partners to all people that encourage you to play. And finally, you are capable of all. You get up bigger and better, no matter how hard you fall. Women, don't let anything get in your way, as it's Women's Day all day and every day. What a game of hockey! their first victory of the year.
and uh, you know, Dan, I think we're in for a good one today. I hope so. Gigi's here coming off a little bit of a five-game skid. Their last win, uh, first win of the season, apologies, coming against Laval, hoping to uh, take the season series here. Few injuries uh, still from the, from the GGs here as uh, we have Alana Lee Young with a, an ankle injury, not seeing her in the starting lineup today. Um, but GG is looking primed to get back in the win column today. Laval will start the game on serve. It'll be setter Marie Justine Couture. Gigi's looking to uh, get off to a hot start here. It's been a, a bit of a troubling area for them early on this season, but. We'll see what they can do early on here. First ball passed up by Grace McHale. Left side ball for Odigi. And there's a kill from Audrey Odigi. Off the, uh, look like a little bit of a tape roll shot there, yeah. but a kill nonetheless. Exactly, we'll take it. First point on the board goes to the GGs. Nice system. Play there, getting that open swing for uh, Odigi. Get her on the board quick. Langevin now back to serve for the Gs. Good float serve there. Right side attack from the Rouge Or. And there's a kill from Beatrice Lamarche, the left side. Yeah, a little unorthodox approach there on the right. Finds a, finds a way to swing off the block there and, and utilize the Gigi's big block to score the point. Lamarche now back to serve for Laval. Float serve, well passed by Jones. Langevin runs for it. Hughes on the roll shot on the left side. Now a left side attack from Laval. Tipped over. Jones forces set out of system here, and the Gs will give a free ball over. Left side attack from Laval once again, and there's a kill on the left side. Looked like that was Eloise Ross Tremblay. Yeah, good swing there by Ross Tremblay, getting an opportunity after a few consecutive garbage balls over in that rally. La Marche on serve once again. Great pass by Jones of the GGs. Hildebrand in the middle tips it over. Now a right side attack. Laval goes off the hands of the block and out. That's a kill from Justin Raymond. Yeah, already utilizing that block off the GGs here. Looks like a bit of a slide play too. It was a, it was a middle yeah, exactly. over to the right side. Popped up by Jones on the serve from La Marche. Mikhail with the pipe attack. Called just long by the referee. That will be Point Laval once again. Gigi's struggling here to get a, a nice, perfect pass, or at, le at least a quality two here to release the ball on the wings and the, as a first option here, forced to go to the pipe there. Tough situation on the out-of-system play. Oh, and there's an unfortunate play as Jones looked to let that ball go long on the call by McHale, but just hit her in the back. Yeah, not much you can do there. Laval opening up an early 5-1 lead here in the first set. And that will put the Gs back in the points column. Miss serve there by Lamarche goes into the net, and Odigi will go back to serve for the Gigi's. Yeah, Gigi's will take that freebie, hopefully build a bit on it here. Odigi back to serve. Four aces on the season for Odigi. And that one called just long by the referee. Almost thought we had a fifth one Almost. there. Yeah, that was a great call. Good timing, but a few inches out there on that one. Chloe saint gelet now back to serve for the Laval Rouge Or. No libero in for Laval with the uh, middle back to serve. See if the G's can take advantage of that. Langevin goes right side for Hughes. Her swing goes just wide, and that will be Point Laval. Geez, uh, looking to capitalize a bit here on the side out game, especially after you know following up a miss serve from Laval with their own miss serve. They really got to be crucial in their mistakes here. Long run there for Langevin. Mikhail on the left side swing, and she puts her ball into the net. Point Laval once again. They now lead eight to two. Laval not doing too much special here, but managing to keep balls in play. Ottawa looks to uh, refocus as head coach Lionel Woods calls timeout.
the middle Saint Gelais back to serve for the Laval Rougeal coming out of that timeout. Good pass there by Mikhail. They go to the left side, back to her on the kill, but a huge block there from Laval right side, Justine Raymond. Well, that, you know, that's almost exactly the execution you want to see coming out of timeout. Get your first three pass, unlock your setter as all has three options in the front row, and unfortunate outcome with the double block from Laval, but got to be happy with the pass, but not this one here, though. Not so much. Pass goes off the hands of Mikhail and out. That will be point Laval once again. Short leash here as the, the set's already getting away from the Gs as Danae Bristow comes in for Grace Mikhail here, a change up on the left side, hopefully bringing some passing, and we know she has a big swing here for the Gs. Absolutely, 30 kills on the season for Bristow as a rookie. In just six or seven games, that's very impressive. And there's one for Bristow. There you go. Great pass up there by the Gs. Good, uh, good job by Langevin, giving her the option to swing right away and get warm in the game, and makes no mistake on that one. Yeah, you know we've seen her carry the momentum of a few sets here at Montpetit Hall this year. Hopefully she can carry this team back to make up this deficit. Hildebrand now back to serve for the G's, the rookie middle. Laval goes to the left side. Tip scores there from Eloise ross -Tremblay. Kind of just a little bit of confusion in the back row there for the GGs. Yeah, you know, that was a, a bit of an unorthodox tip. It looked like uh, the Laval player kind of waited as long as she could to put that ball over and caught the block on the way down and no idea what was going on in the defensive mind there. Missed serve there from the right side for Laval, Justine Raymond. A couple big blocks for Raymond early on in this one, but she does miss that serve there, giving the G's uh, giving these a, a little bit of life. Yeah. See if they can capitalize on this here with Avery Hughes back to serve. Second on the team with nine aces on the season. They go left side, does Laval for Ross Tremblay. Now Langevin goes to Hughes on the sea ball. Good dig. Pipe attack from Laval. Well dug by Odigi. Langevin goes for the dump. And a desperation scramble there from Laval, but it does fall. Point GG's, and there's a kill for Setter kill there for Langevin on the dump. Yeah, Langevin never too scared to put that ball over on two. She gave a good dish out there to the sea ball for Avery Hughes and said, you know what, this time I'm going to end it, and puts it over. Served by Hughes goes just long. Difficult to uh, make a comeback here for the Gs with a few errors recently, but we'll see if they can get it back on serve here. Yeah, you know, the Gs will, uh, will allow some uh, forced errors on the serve receive side, but... They really can't afford to let these serves on their side go out. Bristow on the left side for the Gs. And there's another kill for Bristow. Great set there by Langevin off a fairly good pass. You know, at this point, not much more you can ask for than yeah, a two ball. Exactly. Gs haven't found their rhythm in the, in the side out game, but gladly take it to you and chuck it up to Bristow, who's big shoulder there. Too much for the Laval defender to take on. And now Bristow back to serve. Slide attack is tipped by Laval. Jones thought she got the pancake, but no such luck. That will be point Laval. Yeah, we're in the afternoon here, Eric. No time for breakfast. No pancakes on the menu so far. Jenny Barbeau, the middle, now back to surf at Laval. Her float serve popped up by Jones. G's forced to give a free ball over. Tight pass there from Laval. Slide attack there from Chloé saint gelais the middle, but it goes into the net. Four contacts called against Laval, point G's. Janae McKay now back to serve for all you Ottawa. Float serve from McKay, dribbles over the net, and that will be an ace for McKay, her fifth on the season. Yeah, GG's will take that. Looks like the gap's closing a little bit here, just down five. They were down as much as seven earlier, so we'll see what they can do here. Yeah, and as lucky of a point as that is, it's always nice to get some momentum on a, a little ace like that and exactly. see if they can capitalize. Pipe attack for Ross Tremblay, and there's a big kill from Eloise Ross Tremblay coming out of the pipe, delivering a big swing there into the 1-6 seam. Well, that was a, a great run by the setter there. Only got a, a one block up from the middle there, allowing the pipe to have both corner options available, and she finds the back one in, in position one there. Marie-Justine Couture now back to serve for Laval, but her serve 
goes into the net. Second year setter. Just couldn't quite get that one over, although she's done a very good job of distributing the offense for the Rouge All so far in this one. Yep, exactly. You know, they, they'll allow that. They've they know they've given uh, the GG's three out of their nine points so far on missed serves, so they're still in control of the game. Now the sea ball attack from Beatrice Lamarche goes just wide off the serve from Maxime Langevin. Point G's as they make it now just a four-point deficit. 14-10 the score in favor of Laval. Yeah, a couple two for ones here from the G's, and they're they're closing this gap up nicely. Good pass there from Laval. They go to the left side for Justine Raymond. Her roll shot goes just long. Another point for the GGs. And this time, head coach Guylaine Dumont of the Laval Rouge All wants to call timeout, talk things over with his team. G's go to the timeout, down three. GG setter Maxime Langevin back to serve coming out of the timeout. Great serve there from Langevin, forcing a tip over from Laval. Good dig there by Bristow. Langevin forces the left side ball out to Odigi, but a fairly easy dig there from Laval on the tip. And there's a kill on the right side for Beatrice Lamarche. The left side usually, although she was swinging out of the right side on this one and manages to get the kill. Yeah, you know, GG probably should have had that one, you know, picked up at the very least, but quite frankly, is the first execution on that ball coming over, the roll shot from the left side that should have been picked up in better system ball there. And there's an ace for Beatrice Lamarche off the hands of Jones and out. Difficult float serve there into that back corner. A bit of confusion on the G's side there. Weren't sure if that ball was going in or out. Yeah, tough, you know, serving at the collarbone there, forcing the G's to make a decision whether that ball's in or out. And there's another ace from Lamarche. This time drops it a little bit shorter. Tons of float on that ball. Very difficult play for libero Michaela Jones. Yeah, change of pace on that ball as well. Last one was a, a little bit more high float, slow. This one was a bit more direct and fast paced. Another serve from La Marche. This time it's Odigi who pops it up. Bristol gives a roll shot out of the back, but the out of system ball goes just long. That will be Point Laval as they've opened up this lead to 18-11, and with that, Lionel Woods calls timeout with the G's down seven. Petrus Lamarche on serve once again for the Laval Rouge and another great serve there from Lamarche. Hughes forced to give a, a roll shot over. Now they go to the middle. Good block there by Hildebrand. The rally extends. 
Roll shot from Eloise Tremblay, popped up by Bristow and saved by Odigi. Now a right side ball from the Rouge All and a great dig by Langevin. Huge pops it up. Bristow gives a free ball over. Laval goes right, left side for Ross Tremblay. And there's another kill from left side Eloise Ross Tremblay of the Laval Rouge Or. Yeah, Gigi's, they're looking a bit slow on the defensive end here. Even when they're putting a ball over, that creates some problems for the Laval and they have to set an out of system play. They're not able to recover on the easy balls that are coming over and ultimately just giving easier balls back. And Laval making no mistake with big swings in the free ball game. Ball popped up by Laval off the block from Avery Hughes. Now a right side swing. Good dig there by Bristow. Party ball attack from Ross Tremblay. There's a great dig from Jones. Bristow forced to give a free ball over, but again, easy ball to the right side. Now a middle attack. They go quick. Hughes pops it up for the Gs. Right side attack from Odigi. Big swing, but called just wide by the lines person. That will be Point Laval. Yeah, I can't be mad about that rally. There, there is a defensive effort we've been looking for. Absolutely. Couple, great, couple of great huge digs. digs. Yeah. Great digs from Odigi and Jones there especially. And, you know, it would be lovely to win one of those, try to get some momentum back. But regardless, proud of that effort. La Marche to serve once again. Aces one more time on libero Michaela Jones. Great serving run here by Beatrice La Marche. Very difficult float serve. Yeah, just, you know, she's hitting her spots efficiently, you know, not making any mistakes serving the ball out and just going to her target and going to it repeatedly. She's been serving one-to-one -one this whole set. It's been working. Bristow swings an out-of-system ball, popped up by La Marche in the back row. Left side attack from Ross Tremblay is a tip, popped up by Odigi. Left side attack from Hughes now, blocked but popped up by Jones. Langevin goes right side again for Odigi. And there's a kill from Audrey Odigi off the hands of Ross Tremblay and out. Great tool attack there. Yeah, exactly, you know. Sometimes the big swings aren't, aren't getting you what you need and a smart play there to go off the side of the block to score the point there by Odigi. Odigi's first kill of the game there comes late in the first set and she now goes back to serve. Good floats are from Odigi but left alone by the Laval Rouge Or and called long by the lines person. That will be point Laval on another miss serve by the GGs. Yeah, tough for the GGs to build any momentum. If, if you're down here and you're not putting balls in for the other team to play, can't score if you're scoring for the other team here. Serving substitution for the Laval Rouge Or is number 12, Noemi Brideau. Bristow swings left side for the G's. Great pop up there by setter Just Marie Justine Couture, but the left side attack from Ross Tremblay doesn't get over, and that will be point G's as Bryn Lewis now subs in to serve for Nicole Hildebrand. Nine point lead here for the Laval Rouge Or as they lead 22 to 13. This set looks to be fairly out of reach for the GG's, but no matter what, you're looking to build some momentum for that second set. Yeah, see, see what energy you can bring here that'll carry over to the next. Great defensive effort there from Bryn Lewis, but the kill does go to right side, Justin Raymond of the Laval Rouge Or, her fourth of the set. G's here leaving in Bryn Lewis as a defensive specialist to try and see if they can, you know, clean up their service receive. There's a three ball from yeah, Bryn Lewis. Exactly. That's what you want to see. Right on cue. Left side attack from Ross Tremblay. Blocked on the right side by Hughes and McKay, but it goes just wide. That will be point Laval as they go to set point up 24-13. Well, immediate impact there from Bryn Lewis. Yeah, that's what you want to see. Good substitution late in this set here. Another high ball there passed up by Lewis. Bristow on the left side. Tips blocked by Laval, but they do get called on the net. Little too aggressive. Point G's as they save one set point. Yeah, there you go. That's what the G's want. And quite frankly, you know, when you're down this much, you want to be at least in control of when you lose. So you're, you're happy to have the, the serving opportunity make some points here. Absolutely. And credit to Bristow on that play. She had a couple big swings in this one. This time just baits the, the blockers into the net, trying to get too aggressive on her. 
Middle attack from McKay, good block by Laval. Lewis sets out a system on the left side for Bristow, blocked once again, but saved by Bristow. Slide attack from the Laval, Rouget all, but setter Marie-Justine Couture called on the double touch. Gs will extend this set one more. At least one more, I should say. Uh, yeah. Stranger comebacks have happened, yeah. knock on wood. Yeah. Hughes back to serve for the Gs. Good serve in there by Avery Hughes. Left side attack for Eloise Ross Tremblay. Good dig by Odigi. Langevin goes to the left side for Bristow. Tight ball there. Bit of a messy play here. Lewis with the out of system set goes on the left side to Bristow. And there's another kill for Danae Bristow on the left side. Yeah, she's been a bright spot for the G's in this set coming off the bench. Highly effective, mistake free offensively so far. Gonna knock on wood for yeah, that one. Yeah, I know. We have the, the commentator curse of being the commentators that curse. Good serve by Hughes. Three ball pass by Laval. Middle attack there. And that will be a kill in the middle from Jenny Barbeau, which puts Laval at 25. They will take this first set by a score of 25-16. G's with a, a better effort towards the end there, looking to regroup and, and come back in the second set.
Beginning of the second set here inside Montpetit Hall between University of Ottawa GGs and the Laval Rouge Or. Laval won the first set by a score of 25-16. G's looking to turn it around here, and that's a good start there from Danae Bristow. Big kill on the left side. Yeah, great start. G's coming out with a few uh, lineup changes here. Bristow playing P1 this set. Grace McHale draws back in the lineup, and Bryn Lewis dressing as a second libero and on the court right now. Langevin back to serve for the G's. Right side attack from La Marche. And it goes out. G's open up a 2-0 lead here early on. Good patience there on the left side by uh, Bristow and by Hildebrand. Yeah, G's trying to play with some energy in the second set. They were quite flat in the, the start of the first, up 2-0 here, hoping to build up some more momentum. Another serve from Langevin. Great serve there, putting the Rouge out in trouble. Left side attack now. And there's a kill from Justin Raymond. Bit of a weird play there, a big tape roll. Yeah. Tried swinging that ball hard line and bounced right on top of the net, causing some confusion of where that ball went. Blockers had no idea. Setter coming in to try and play that second ball already, but just drops in the middle of the court. La Marchand serve now. Gave the G's a lot of trouble in that first set, but a good serve, a good pass there by Bristow. Called no touch on the left-hand side there. Hughes looked like she wiped it off the hands of the right side and out. But linesman calls no touch, and that will be Point Laval. Yeah, hard to tell in this commentator's booth. We saw that touch and we hoped for that touch, but line judge and referee closer position and saying otherwise. Well, wow, Laval saying ball don't lie on that one as there's another ace from La Marche. Yeah, G's got to focus on sliding out on her serves as soon as possible. It caused quite a few troubles for them in the last set. As they've done in the past, Avery Hughes will drop back to pass in this case. The Right side has some experience as she played left side last year. Good pass there from the G's, but right side attack from Bristow goes just long, and that will be Point Laval. G's looking to stop this run from La Marche earlier on than they did last set. Tight pass there from Lewis. Langevin forces a ball out to Avery Hughes on the left side, but a huge block on the right side by Justin Raymond. She has been a force out there. Yeah, being a big block there, really causing some issues for the G's side out team. It's a tough, tough position there. G's getting good passes so far, but big blocks making it even more difficult to side out. This time, Langevin goes back to Hughes and she puts it away off the hands of La Marche and out. Another great pass there by the GGs. It's interesting. Uh, how well they're able to do when they can get some three balls like that. Yeah, you know, it's a simple game at the end of the day. The quality of your first pass will definitely dictate the, the quality of your attack. There's a good serve by Bristow, putting the Rougeur out of system. The left side attack from Ross Tremblay, popped up by Lewis. McKay, uh, Mikhail, pardon me, gives a ball over to Avery Hughes on the right side, and there's a huge swing out of system for the right side. Absolutely, as we said before, it's not just Avery Hughes, it's Avery Huge. Big swing there. Bristow on serve. Great pass there by Laval. And a big block Ooh. on the swing from Ross Tremblay. Another point from Avery Hughes, and she is fired up. Yeah, she's definitely brought the energy so far here for the G's in the second set. Playing great so far. Another serve from Bristow. Another great pass from the Rouge. Oh, they go to the right side. Good dig by Bristow. Lewis chases it down and manages to pop it up. Grace McHale gives a free ball over. La Marche with a good pass, though. And there's a kill in the middle from Chloé saint gelais the middle. Laval hasn't been running the middle all too much early on, but when they have, it's been effective. Yeah, exactly. You know, they're, they're picking their moments, and they're picking them well. I think they've, they've scored just about every middle ball that they've ran in system so far, and Gigi's have to respect that as much as possible. Yeah, especially difficult for the middles to not get drawn out to the pins there when they haven't been running the middle as much. You know, started trying to cheat over a little bit and just got burnt on that one. Exactly. Left side swing from Mikhail, dug up by Laval. Ross Tremblay with another kill on the left-hand side there. Eloise Ross Tremblay has been imposing her will on this game early on on the left side with big swings. Yeah, she's definitely been a key player so far for the Rouge Or, And they'll keep looking to her to, to grow this gap they have uh, so far the two-point lead in this second set. Good pass there by Dene Bristow. Hughes with the swing. Dug up by Laval and they'll be forced to give a free ball over. Lewis pops it up for the G's. They go right side back to Hughes once again. 
blocked over, but Hildebrand picks it up. Now a left side attack for Mikhail tipped over. And she gets a party ball. Another good dig by Laval. Pipe attack now from La Marche and a good dig by Lewis. Langevin goes to the middle for Hildebrand. And there's a kill for Nicole Hildebrand. Wow. A little bit of a Polish quick action there. Hildebrand going for the fastball, a bit of a loopier middle set there. And she says, yeah, I can still go up and get that. And she sure does. Brings the thunder on that one. Great play by, there by Langevin to, to find her in the middle. I don't think anyone in the building thought she was setting. No, exactly. And now a serve from Hildebrand. Well passed by La Marche. One hand set there from Marie Justine Couture. And another middle kill there from Laval. Yeah, I mean, that's you got to give respect where respect is due. And that was a great fix play by uh, Couture to still find that ball and give it to the middle for an effective attack. Justine Raymond on serve. Left side for McHale. And there's a kill from Grace McHale on the left-hand side. Her first of the match, but desperately important as Ottawa cuts the lead to just one point now. Yeah, you know, we're happy to see Grace McHale get into the uh, offensive categories here. Usually a key part of, of the left side rotation here for the Gs. Standing float serve there from Hughes, effective as ever, as Laval forced to give an easy roll shot over, well popped up by Danae Bristow. And there's a swing out of the middle for Janae McKay, her first kill of the match. A lot of firsts here in the Gs in the second set as McKay kills it into position number five. Yeah, Gigi's are, are doing a better job of getting a first contact that is of quality so they can run the middles here. Absolutely, a lot less running for Langevin here in the uh, early stage of the second set. Seaball now for Laval. Good pop up there by Hughes. Left side attack for McHale. Stays at the net and rolls around for a little bit. Now Laval pops it up and forced to give a free ball over. Good pass by Hughes. Slide attack from Langevin to McKay. Now a pipe attack from La Marche is tipped over. Good dig by McKay. And Langevin with the setter dump, forced to give a free ball over where Laval. Langevin now goes to the left side for McHale. Off the hands of the block and out. Great swing there from Grace McHale. Great smart play by the GGs all around. Yeah, you know, a lot of decision making can happen there when you have great passing. And, you know, Max Langevin able to hit just about every hitter on the court there and call her own number as well. Hughes now back on serve with the GGs having their first lead since it was 2-1. And a left side swing there from Eloise ross -Ramblay, but it goes long, point GGs once again. Yeah, GGs playing with a bit of momentum here. They're looking hot, they're, they're, they gonna, they're steamrolling. Let's see if they can keep it going. Yeah, keys so far in this set really have been the passing and just the patience, you know, not trying to do too much, staying patient at the net, taking the points where they can. And there's another point for the Gs as Avery Hughes puts the ace right on the back line. Laval head coach Olivier Fauché calls timeout with Ottawa opening up a three-point lead. Coming out of the Laval timeout, it's still Avery Hughes on serve here for the Ottawa Gigi's tight pass there from La Marche. Langevin goes to the left side for McHale. Her swing popped up. Free ball attack given over by Laval. See what the Gs can do with it. Middle attack by McKay as well, Doug. Setter dump now from the Rouge Or. And it's Marie-Justine Couture with the kill. 
haven't seen that from Laval all day today, and uh, no. she picked a good time for it. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they saw a scramble going on from the GG side, getting everyone back into position after, you know, their failed free ball uh, offense. But, you know, that was a great play and good position on the dump as well. Tough serve there from Laval. Hughes forced to give a free ball over. And a good one at that as Laval now scrambling. Good pass there by Lewis on the roll shot. Left side attack from Mikhail. Popped up with the chest by Laval, and they managed somehow to get the ball back over. Ton of spin on that one. Forced a, a missed pass there by McKay. Now a setter dump back over by Laval. Langevin goes to the middle for McKay. Her tip dug up by Tremblay. Middle attack. And there's a touch on the middle attack by Laval's number 18, Jenny Barbeau. That will be point Laval on a very long, very uh, scrambly play. Yeah, those eggs were definitely scrambled there today. And uh, a few free ball passes causing some troubles for both sides of the court here. Yeah, those balls with lots of spin on them can be especially difficult. And saw that in full effect there. Good pass there by Bristow. Left side attack from Mikhail, well dug by Laval. Bump set. Now the kill from La Marche is dug up. Mikhail wipes. Left side to La Marche for Laval once again. And there's a kill. Really aggressive cross court shot there from Beatrice La Marche, but an effective one. Yeah, just finding some open court, seeing everyone kind of drawing to the center when she's going up to hit and hitting a nice cross shot there. Yeah, it looks like the uh, U Ottawa libero Bryn Lewis creeped in a little bit too much there, having not known that La Marche had that shot in her arsenal. Set her dump by Langevin, gets dug back up. Now she's forced to take first ball. Lewis sets it outside to McHale. Difficult shot there from Grace McHale, but manages to stay in play. Manages to get up on the block too there as the slide attack not quite working for Laval. Now a tip for McHale. And the free ball doesn't get over. Point GG's, what a rally there. Great effort by Grace McHale. Yeah, yes. she was pushed to the brink of her athleticism there. First hitting an out system ball, crashed on the ground, had to get up as fast as possible to make sure she could get a block touch up for uh, that slide attack from the Laval, Rougeard, and then getting another opportunity to swing. And now forced to go and serve right yeah. away and maybe looked a little bit tired on that one as it goes just out the back. Yeah, some fatigue probably settling in on that one. We'll allow that one to squeak by with the mistake. Middle Jenny Barbeau now to serve for Laval as they have no libero in right now. Langevin goes left side for Bristow. Good block by the Rouge et Or. Play at the net. And it was McKay called on the net touch. Point Laval. Yeah, tough play there. Trying to stay aggressive knowing that the uh, Laval block was already lined up for that ball coming over on two. And McKay just scratching the nail on the center of the net there. Another serve from Barbeau of the Rouge All and an overpass by Mikhail. Laval will reset with the free ball. Middle attack well dug by Avery Hughes. And now a free ball again given back over by the G's. Great pass by the Rouge All. They go to the left side for La Marche. Great dig by Bryn Lewis. Langevin with a long run. Bristow has to get, put a roll shot over. Couture goes to the right side. And the right side attack from Justin Raymond looked like a sea ball even off the hands of Grace Mikhail and out. You know, lots of good rallies early on in this one, in this uh, mid or through the second set. Gs look have to win some of them and maybe get some momentum points going here. Yeah, it's, you know, the timeouts have been working for Laval. You know, they called one down 11-8, and now they've since gone on a 6-1 run here. Big swing there by Bristow, forces a free ball, but the Gs can't take advantage of it as the dig off the kill by McKay. And this time, it's a swing from the left side, La Marche of Laval. Lines person calling touch. G's celebrating the point as though they don't think it happened. We'll see what the call from the officials is here. Point will go to Laval in the end after the discussion between the chair umpire and the lines person. Looked like a touch by Avery Hughes, maybe? Yeah, tough to tell and definitely a, a difficult position when you got one linesman that's not sure and the other one's calling something from the opposite side of the court. But the G's get it right back on a touch of their own. Good left side kill there from Danae Bristow. Yeah, Bristow making sure that touch was obvious. Yeah. Obliterating that block, sending it nice and deep. Yeah, the easy ways to tell on that typically tend to be the spin and even the sound of the ball. Didn't see much of that on the, the, the left side attack there from Laval on the previous point, but 
again, it can be very subtle. Joust at the net there. Won by Laval, but the G's get the ball back. And now a right side sea ball attack from Avery Hughes off the hands of Lamarche and out. And following the controversial call, that's two consecutive uh, block touches for the G's as they get back into the set. Yeah, G is saying, oh, you're seeing a touch. I'll make sure you see a few more here. Great swings here. McKay now back to serve with the G's trailing 15-14 in the second set. Slide attack from Laval and a great kill there by Chloe saint gelais They have loved running her on the slide today and boy has it been effective. It really has and that, that one is the smoothest one so far. Getting yeah. to the right location on the set and you know being able to cut that back to one nice flat and good pace on that swing. Yeah, great hands by Couture there to not give away that set too much and now she goes to serve. Tight ball for Langevin, but the middle from Hildebrand did get well dug by Laval, and now a right side attack once again for the Rouge Or. This time courtesy of Justine Raymond, and there's another point for Laval. Couture to serve for Laval. High ball popped up by Mikhail. Difficult pass there. Hughes swings on a sea ball. Comes back over the party ball from Hildebrand. Looked like it was blocked, but Laval recycles. And now a right side attack from Justin Neymar once again. Goes off the hands of Avery Hughes in the back row and down for a kill. Yeah, so wish she had that one back. Right in her mitts there, squeaked through. And with Laval opening up a four point lead, 18-14, their largest of the set. Lionel Woods calls timeout for the Ottawa GGs. Marie-Justine Couture back to serve for Laval. Rougeard coming out of the timeout called there by the GGs. Langevin goes pipe attack for Mikhail. Long run for Couture. Lamarche forced to tip over. Good pickup by Bristow and a dump over by Hildebrand. And there's a kill for the GGs. Yeah. And you said it, Eric, during the timeout. Cardi B, I like it like that came on. We sure do like that play by Hildebrand. Putting that ball over in two. Squeaky play. She even faked the set and then dumped it over. Yeah, very, uh, very classy of her to be able to get the middle to bite there and then just throw it right down. Great play there by Hildebrand. Sub for the G's is Megan Kachancic. Her serve, good pass by Laval, but the middle attack goes out the back. Yeah, Kachancic has been a dependable serving substitution for the G's. Always pretty consistent, putting a nice flat float serve and then obviously coming in for Max Langevin as a secondary setter here on the team. Another good serve there from Kachancic. Roll shot over, good dig by Mikhail, and there's a kill from Nicole Hildebrand in the middle. Great rookie to rookie connection there between Kachancic and Hildebrand, and G's cut the lead down to just one point. Yeah, the rookies are present here on the court right now. G's four rookies on the court, Kachancic, Hildebrand, Bristow, and Lewis. Combined with some uh, some older veterans in in McHale and Hughes, and maybe a recipe for success for the G's. Big block on the right side there from Hildebrand and Hughes, but it does go just wide off the hands of the block and out. Good kill there from Justin Raymond. Yeah, you know it's good play. GG's can't be disappointed either. Good uh, run from them to close this gap down. But now they have to deal with the serve of. Lamarche, who has been killing them all day, and there's another ace for Beatrice Lamarche, number nine, the left side for Laval. Yeah, Hopefully the G's will be able to turn this one around. She's been an absolute problem from the baseline. And 
made made the GGs remember that already on this first serve here in this rotation. Yeah, I think I think the the problem with her serve that the G's are having is just her ability to mix up the depth. You know, you'd love on a float serve to be able to come up and and take that with your hands, but she has that ability to drop it short or throw it back, and G's have been struggling with that. But there's oh, looked like a kill from Bristow, but Ref says no touch on the left side block there of Laval. Ball goes wide, and that will be Point Laval as they take a 21 to 17 lead. Timeout called once again by Lionel Woods, trying to rally his team to come back in the second set, down four. We will see you after the break. Serve there from Beatrice Lamarche of the Laval Rouge. Oh, much better pass there from Grace McHale. Allows Kachanchis to run the middle, and there's another kill for Hildebrand. And G's managed to get out of that rotation quicker than they have been able to. Yeah, and you know, got to give credit to Coach Lionel Woods here with a timely timeout to, you know, put a bit of pressure on the server from the Rouge Aug, and it works in their favor. Great pass, great run in the middle. Dene Bristow now back to serve for the G's. Barely gets it over on the tape roll. Out of system set. Ross Tremblay puts a ball over on the tip. Managed to get picked up momentarily, but that ultimately does fall on the side of the G's. Yeah, tough play there. Squeaked that tip right behind the block of the GG's, and setter Megan Kuchanchis had to make the decision to come play that first ball, and tough position-wise, plays it a bit too far out of reach of anyone else. Second-year libero, Alexandre Cantin de libero, draws in for the Laval Rouge All on serve. Put a good serve up there, but now it looked like we had a net touch or something. We might have an injury on the play here. Ref calling for reserve, but there is a Laval player down. And it's Eloise Ross Tremblay who's been a huge presence for the Laval Rouge in this game. She will go to the sideline. Looks like an ankle injury. Really hate to see that. Yeah, at least uh, she seems to be in good spirits so far. Yeah, able to get up fairly quickly, but difficult play there at the net. Maybe either hit her ankle on the mat or landed on the ankle of Avery Hughes. Regardless, not something you want to see. And did appear to be in a fair amount of pain, although she got up quite quickly and made her way over to the bench, where she's getting treatment from the Laval training staff. And coming out of that difficult emotional play, misserved by the Laval Rouge or by Alexandre Cantin, and G's will get served down 22 19. Yeah, a tough, tough break for Rouge or, but Gigi's will take it despite uh, you know, how that point came about. They're just trailing three points here, hoping to close that gap, see what they can bring for this set. Good serve there by Hildebrand. The right side attack for the Rouge or is a kill. Looked like Justine Raymond once again on the right side for the Laval Rouge Or. Yeah, that was a big swing. Hitting that over the block into the deep corner with some pace. Tough for anyone to get a touch on that. Laval looking to close this one out here up 23-19. G's fighting to stay in this set. Right side attack there from Hughes. Tipped over. Scramble play for the Rouge Or. Roll shot over there by Jad Marquis. And a kill on the left side from Grace McHale. Great set there by Megan Kachancic, who will draw back out as Maxime Langevin comes in for her in the front row. Great job there by Kachancic to uh, 
give Langevin a bit of a break. Yeah, you know, she had a positive impact on the court, some great serving, a few digs, and effective middle runs, and that's all you really want from a, a secondary setter to come in and perform like that. Hughes puts a good serve over, puts the Laval in trouble. Now takes the free ball attack, which was swung on, or tipped rather, by McKay. Now the sea ball attack from the Rouge Or. Swing from Justin Raymond out of the back, blocked but out of bounds, and that will bring up set point for Laval. Yeah, Gigi's, you know, playing some good ball this set at the very least. Their passing has been a lot better. Been able to run the middles and get their weapons on the wings. Going here, a little reset here going on for the Laval Rouge Or. I think it's a rotation check with the injuries, trying to make sure they're in the right rotation here. Yeah, it looks like some confusion between uh, left side Jade Marquis, who drew in for the injured Eloise Ross Tremblay, and Beatrice Lamarche. Good serve there by Laval. Sea ball attack from Hughes is over the net, but well dug. Now Lamarche puts a tip over Langevin to the left side for McHale. Big swing popped up in the back by Raymond, who now gives a roll shot over. Great swing there by Raymond. Brissot to the left side. For McHale, good dig by Laval. Now the middle attack, another great dig by Bristow. Langevin goes sea ball for Hughes. And the swing from Avery Hughes into the net. That will bring about the end of the set. Laval will take the second set by a score of 25-20. G's looking to uh, fight for their lives in the third set here. We will see you after the break.
Welcome back inside Montpetit Hall for RSEC women's volleyball action between the visiting Laval Rouge R and U Ottawa GG's. GG's down 2 0 and looking to do what the Canadian men's soccer team couldn't do, and that is mount a comeback. We'll see if they'll be able to do that here in the third set. And there's a good start as a block by Langevin. Ah, oh, but the G's weren't able to recover it. Great dig there by Laval, actually, off the block by Langevin. They take a 1 0 lead here in this third set. I really thought Langevin had that one. Yeah. It was a wow. great save by the Rougeard. It was. Good net presence, but good uh, scramble from the Laval Rougeard. This is a good pass by Hughes. Bristow on the left side. Refs say no touch, and that will be point to the Rouge Yeah, tough, tough. You can hear the net bounce on that one, and don't hear the sound of uh, the ball smacking any hand, so pretty easy decision there. No lineup changes for the GGs here in this set, although some uh, rotational changes as they have Avery Hughes slotting back and dropping back to pass on serve receive. And it worked on that one as G's get the kill off the head of a Rouge L blocker and out. Maxime Langevin, the setter here for the GG's back to serve. Good float serve by Langevin. Couture goes to the left side. Big swing there from Justine Raymond when she gets another kill. Yeah, that was a big swing. She got up there and saw the gap between the blocks and decided to funnel her swing straight through there. Very early on still, but the deciding factor in these sets typically has been the length of the runs of uh, Beatrice Lamarche. So Gs will look to get out of this crucial transition early. Good dig by Bryn Lewis off a scramble play. Hughes on the left side. Gigi's asking for touches. No call by the lines person, and uh, Lionel Woods didn't look too happy with that one. Oh, no, that's tough. And you do everything right in the rally and, and still get stuck here. And Gigi is going to the four man service receive here to try and stop La Marche's runs. Worked on that one. Good pass by Bristow, and a kill from Avery Hughes off the hands of Justin Raymond and out. Very well done by the G's to get out of that rotation. Only one point given up. Yeah, they'll take that any day of the week. They got five more rotations until Lamash gets back to the baseline, so they'll try and get as many points as they can here. Bristow on serve. She's had a great day from behind the line so far. But a great swing there from left side Jad Marquis. She really got up there on that one. Yeah, that's a big swing. Lots of time in the air there. She saw the double block taking her cross and was able to cut that back to the line and just ping it off. GG setter Max Langevin. Now Chloe saint gelet to serve for the Rouge Or. Bristow on the pipe. Overpass. Hildebrand Ooh! with a massive attack. Big party ball swing there for the rookie middle. Holy, she got way up there on that one. Swung that straight to the floor. No one could touch it. And now Hildebrand, after that impressive display of athleticism, goes back to serve for the G's. And a good float serve there from Hildebrand. Couture goes right side to Raymond. Good dig by Bristow. Langevin forced to chase. Manages to pop it over. Couture to the middle. Good dig there from Langevin. Hildebrand sets out a system to the right side for Hughes. Blocked but dug up by Langevin, who's doing everything that a setter normally doesn't do in this rally here with another great dig. Now a pipe attack from Bristow. Forces the Rougeur to scramble. Right side attack. From Raymond is blocked. Another middle set, this time for Laval. And the swing goes to Jade Marquis. She gets the kill. Incredible rally here yeah. at Montpetit Hall there. And that's just a shame for the GGs there, doing everything they, they're supposed to do. Great coverage on the blocks. Two setter digs back to back, putting swings over. And they're just not rewarded with the point, but they got to be happy with the effort on that rally. Absolutely. If they play that hard every point, they should have. No problem having some big runs here. Lewis sets out a system for McHale. Tight ball for the left side. And somehow Laval manages to scramble that one over. Now a middle attack from McKay. Another ball over dug well by Laval. Right side attack from Hughes. Off the hands of Raymond and out. There's another kill for Avery Hughes. Yeah, she's been quite dependable there on the wing. As always, putting a hard swing into the tough positions. 
And now Hughes back to serve for the G's who trail by a score of 6-4 to four here in the third set. Good serve by Hughes. Well passed up. Now the left side for the G's and McHale. Her swing goes long. Bryn Lewis asking for touches but won't get the call once again. Yeah, I think the G is trying to fight for any point they can, throwing up those touch signs as soon as the ball gets hit out. I think ultimately they just got to try and hit some balls inside the back baseline instead of out. Marquis on serve. She slotted in the second set after the injury to Eloise Ross Tremblay. And a good serve there from Marquis, but a better pass by the G's and a great middle attack. Yeah, McKay opening that up quite nicely to be able to put that ball down. Yeah, opened up, gave a lot of target area for Langevin to put that ball in and put it away. McKay on serve. Pardon, McHale on serve. Good pass there by the Rouge All. Roll shot over by Justin Raymond was popped up. Langevin goes to the right side on a C ball for Hughes. Good dig there by the Laval Rouge All. And now Marquis with a pipe swing into the net. Point GG's. Great defense there by Laval, and this time it was. It was Laval that was not rewarded for, uh, for some great defensive effort. Exactly, you know, it's, it's a game of back and forth. You just hope you were on the better side of it sometimes, and GG's were on that one. Grace McHale with the serve. Whoa, backspin on that one. Good pass by the middle. Pardon. Good block touch by the middle, and she gets rewarded with the kill. That was Janae McKay once again. Great dig there by Bryn Lewis on the middle attack. And Langevin rewards McKay once again. Yeah, great transition play there by McKay. Quick on her feet to get off the net to be able to receive a set there and put that ball away with quite a bit of force. Good float serve by McHale. Left side for La Marche, and she puts it. Great shot there by La Marche. Taking some pace off that one and just placing it perfectly right into the back corner in position number five. Yeah, that was definitely a strategic hit there. Seeing two big blocks in front of her and says, you know what, I'll place this where I know no one will be. And she sure did. Jenny Barbeau with the serve for the Laval Rouge Or. They went, GG's did, they went for the slide to McKay, but a big block on the left side there. McKay tried to pop it back up with her foot, but went under the net. Yeah, a little tough, tough set there. McKay running pretty much already from two for that slide and a bit slower run. Two blocks up there from the Rouge A. Good pass with their hands there by McHale and a big swing by Danae Bristow on the left side. Off the blockers and straight down out of the court. Great swing there by Danae Bristow. Yeah, great swing. We got Janae and Danae absolutely playing the thunder from the front court here for the G's in this set. And now we got McKay to serve following the serve of McHale, so that's not confusing at all. Now, we have a tough time here in the commentator's booth, folks. It's a rough life. Slight attack from the Laval Rouge Or, but the swing by Chloe Saint Gelais goes out the back, and that will be point G's. McKay will be back to serve once again. Good patience there by the G's to not get overly aggressive, especially with a bit of a, a tighter set there. Good job not trying to reach for that ball and get called in an overtouch or a net call, which they have in the past. So, yeah, and good discipline by uh, the defenders, knowing that ball was sailing quite far. Good serve by McKay, but an even better pass. Left side to La Marche, and this one goes off the hands of setter Max Langevin on the block and out. Another smart, smart shot by La Marche. Yeah, you, you could see a little curl on that swing to make sure it would go upwards after she hit it off the block. and Just too far for anyone else to get in the back. Couture on serve for the Rouge Or. Tight pass from McHale on the setter down from Langevin, and now Raymond pokes it back over for Laval on two. Left side attack from Bristow, in on the line on the far side. Libero not happy with herself on that play as she let it drop. But nonetheless, another big kill from Bristow. Yeah, she's been a great addition to the lineup since coming in early in the first set here. Quite effective in the front as a big, powerful swing for the Gs on the left side. Max Langevin with the serve now. Popped up by Marquis. They go to the left side for Raymond. Ooh. But a big block by Avery Hughes, and she fires up her team with that one. Holy folks. Bench is loving it. Yeah, we love that too here. Avery Hughes coming from Golden, Colorado. We definitely saw the Colorado Springs on that one as she got way up there on that block. Great serve there by Langevin. But a bigger swing for Raymond. 
seemingly off the head of Bristow and yeah. out. That was quite the shot. Double block and really sharp cross shot into the attack line. Only way you could hit Bristow that way. Yeah, especially for Bristow being a front row left side. She's basically covering tips, so very impressive for Raymond to be able to hit her with a kill there. But Bristow says, you know what, I will get yeah. you right back. Big swing out of the right side for Bristow as the setter was in position number one. She was off the hands of Jade Marquis and out for the kill. Ottawa leads 12-11 here in the third set. Yeah, no, a good rhythm here going for the Gs. A few big points here. And now Bristow with an ace. A little bit of redemption on that one yeah. as she put it off the hands of Beatrice Lamarche, who of course has been killing them with the aces all day. And that one's got to feel good for the Gs. Yeah. Risto securing anyone's doubts here if she was okay after getting that ball in the head, scoring the last two points. And now a tight ball after the serve of Bristow. And the G's called on a reach there. Bit of a tight pass from Laval. And G's got a little bit anxious there to, to put that one away. Yeah, that's, that's just a disciplined play there where Gigi's got to try and go straight up knowing that the setter is back row here for Laval. Now saint on serve. Left side for Grace McHale. Blocked and scrambled over the net by the G's. And now another solo block from Avery Hughes and she points right at Jade Marquis after that one. Very impressive block there once again from Avery Hughes solo this time. Yeah. As the G's take a two point lead, 14-12 with Nicole Hildebrand back to serve. Floater from Hildebrand, and a great serve. Marquis with the left side swing, good dig by Hildebrand. And now McHale on the left side, tips over, puts the setter Laval out of system with the setter dig. Marquis rolls one over and she finds a hole. Wow. Great spot there, rolling it over the block into the 1-6 seam where Bristow wasn't, and very impressive shot there from that, the left side. That was, that was a great shot, trying to fix the set there and just ping that baseline with some open court. Yeah, Bristow as the back row left side is not really, in, she's, she's pretty much in the shadow of the block there as she should be and Marquis just managed to find a hole. Hughes with a ball over and now Marquis forced to roll it back over. Langevin rewards Hughes once again with a right side swing but another great dig this time from Justine Raymond. And now Marquis on the left side for the Laval Rouge et All with a great wipe there. Another smart shot from the left side. Yeah, you know, Avery Hughes has had the number of the left sides for the last few points here and Laval making a great decision and not challenging her block too much and just wiping. Raymond on serve for the Laval Rouge Or. Langevin forced to run there a little bit. Bristow with the pipe swing, but it goes just long. Gs have been struggling with their back row attacks a little bit this evening, especially uh, putting a couple of them long. Yeah, it's a difficult decision um, for sure, especially most of them are, have been coming out of system over the shoulders of the hitters. Tough to see where the court is in that position. You're kind of swinging uh, out of reflex. Audrey Odigi will sub in for Grace McHale here. Ball was popped up by Bristow. Odigi set it out of system, but the sea ball roll shot by Hughes goes into the net. Again, another example of a difficult play where the Gs are running a back row play out of system. Lionel Woods doesn't like what he's seeing, calls timeout with the G's down 16-14 in the third set.
Raymond back to serve for the for the Rougeal coming out of the timeout. Good set there by Langevin to the outside. Tipped over by Odigi and now a block by Odigi. Sea ball from Raymond. McKay sets out of system after the dig by Langevin. Swing there by Hughes. Put over by Couture. Scramble play here. Lewis with another out of system set. This time to Odigi. And her swing goes off the tape and wide. Very messy play there all around, but Laval will take the point. Yeah, that's a tough ball there with DJ drawing back into the game since uh, the first set there. Didn't quite get the opportunity to have a great first swing as uh, it comes from an out-of-system ball and just nicking the top of the tape before it goes out there. Great serve by Raymond there. Langevin with a long run, manages to pop it back into system. Hughes puts a free ball over. Now a middle attack for the Rouge All off the hands of the middle. Looks like Bristol got a touch in the back row as well, but it will go out of bounds. Falls on the GG's side, and Laval all of a sudden opening up a four-point lead. Yeah, you know, GG's were right with them for the last few minutes here, and uh, Lionel Woods had forced to call a timeout before this uh, set starts slipping away, but it's not looking so great right now. Difficult play there by ODG, bit of a, a low set. It's another great block by the right side. Pardon me, by the setter. Couture of Laval. Looked like Odigi was just trying to recycle that one and keep it out of system, but Lionel Woods, two points later again, doesn't like what he's seeing and calls timeout. Laval leads 19-14. Raymond back to serve for Laval following the final timeout of the set for the G's. Langevin goes to the left side for Odigi and another huge block in the middle from Jenny Barbeau. She has been uh, a controlling force to the net all day, especially with the G's left sides. Yeah, she's been causing some issues there. She's probably the tallest player on the court right now and putting up the biggest block. Another serve here from Justin Raymond, and a great one that that. Lewis popped it up, tight ball for Langevin, who dumps it over. But Langevin is in the back row, having just served, and that will be a violation. Point goes to Laval once again, as they lead now by seven points, 21-14. Yeah, G is trying to do a few substitutions here to see what, what energy they can bring back to this do-or-die set on their side. Subbing in uh, setter Megan Kuchantris for Max Langevin. Floats are from Raymond once again, this time into the tape. A very welcome point there for the G's to, to break up that run, get back on serve, and hopefully come back in this third set. Yeah, you know, Lionel Woods uh, already using both of his timeouts in this set so far. Different way to freeze the uh, opposing team's servers to make a substitution. Hughes with a good serve, but a great pass there. Good dig after the middle attack from Laval, but it will ultimately fall out of bounds on the side of Laval off the hands of Bryn Lewis. Good dig there, just not much you can do with that one. Yeah, you know, positionally in the right spot, just a bit too much Absolutely. power. And take what you can get. Sometimes you'll get that one. Jade Marquis on serve for Laval Rougeor. Popped up a little bit low by Bristow, and now a left side attack from Mikhail, who slotted back in for Odigi. And Grace McHale gets the kill. Yeah, sure does. McHale coming from Cold Lake, Alberta. While there's lots of Rocky Mountains there, her play has been far from Rocky here tonight. 
Looked like Odigi was just a, uh, a substitution for the back row, and now that Mikhail is back in the front, she'll get to, uh, the chance to swing away. Dig there from Bryn, L Bryn Lewis, a great one. And now an in-system back row ball goes to Grace Mikhail. Sea ball attack for Justin Raymond. But the G's called on a net touch. Not sure who that was on, but regardless, the point does go to Laval. Difficult, especially when you have some good digs there. Yeah, you know, sometimes the ref's got to let that play when it's so minimal. It, net's not even bouncing anymore here. And uh, it's probably a light jersey touch on that one. But G's will just have to deal with it and side out this ball here to keep their hopes alive. Alexandre Cantin, once again, is the serving sub, slotting in the back row for Jenny Barbeau. Second year libero looking to provide some uh, defensive stability while the middle's serving. Mikhail pops up to Kachancic. Sea ball attack from Hughes. Now a left side from the Laval Rouge et Or is swung out long by Beatrice Lamarche, and that will be point Gigi's. Yeah, they'll take that one. Good side out play here by the G's, and now McKay draws to serve. Yeah, I gotta take advantage of any chance that they get to capitalize on some Laval errors. They've been few and far between today. They've played a Laval has played a very very calm game, I'd say. And yeah. They just have to look to take advantage of this whenever they can. They've been driving the bus today, as we say. Out of system attack for Bristow. Off some hands, but well popped up. Now a right side C ball attack from Justin uh, Raymond. Gets in between Mikhail and McKay. Uh, that was a big swing there. Gigi's having some troubles corralling those big swings from the Laval side, and not much you can do there. Especially difficult with McKay serving, you know, having a middle in the back row there and no libero can cause some defensive confusion. Yeah. Setter Marie Justin Couture in to serve on match point here for Laval. And there it is, middle attack from Hildebrand, blocked in the middle by Chloe saint gelais And that will do it. Laval wins the third set by a score of 25-17. to 17. And they will take the match by a score of 3-0, 25-16, 25-20, and 25-17. to 17. On behalf of myself and Dan, thank you so much for tuning in on Dig, Dig Pink Night here at Montpensier Hall. This was the final home regular season game of the fall semester. We'll see you in the winter. See you after the break. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone.